Hey everyone, welcome back. I am starting my night tonight. I just turned on DoorDash. Let's see, I'm gonna turn on Uber as soon as it comes up. Uber is on, and then I'm also going to turn on Grubhub. Now, Grubhub, I'm going to give Grub, Grubhub credit for a half a second. We have an air quality alert going on because we're getting the brush fire smoke again from Canada, and Grubhub is on, by the way. And Grubhub sent out an email saying that if you have a block scheduled for tonight, you can... Um, drop it without penalty so kudos to grubhub for taking care of their drivers today so i am looking for my very first order of the evening who knows which platform it's gonna come from but i'll let you know as soon as i get it so guys let's kick off tonight let's go make some money so what do you think should i take it 13 dollars 13.3 miles nope I'm declining my first DoorDash order. $9.25 going 13.8 miles. I'm sorry, DoorDash. No, I will not be doing that tonight. Next. Okay, I'm gonna take this order. $10.22, 2.1 miles, local pizza place. I can't sit around and do absolutely nothing. So Uber Eats, first order of the night, here I come. door. I don't know whether you guys get annoyed about this, but I get so annoyed when there's like no service in the area you do a drop off. Like orders were, well, first of all, I had a hard time closing it out. So I had to drive a couple blocks until I got service. But in between that, I turned on DoorDash and I turned on Grubhub. I declined this Grubhub order. And then a DoorDash order came through and I'm like, score, I'm going to take it. So it was $12.25 plus and it was going a little over four miles. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm trying to accept it. I won't accept. And sorry, I did not screenshot it because I just wanted to get the order in the system. Finally, I got to service with like five seconds to spare and DoorDash finally accepted the order, but it drives me crazy when you go to like dead zone, no service areas, because it's really frustrating when you can't close out an order, and it's really frustrating when you can't accept an order. Ugh. Anyway, so the order is done, and now I'm moving on to that $12.25 order that I just took. I need a walk, a block, to go get this order. I'm gonna go do so because the order is ready now and I'm off. Just have the order, it's in my hot bag, ready to go. So I walk into the restaurant and they said, we're out of shrimp cocktail. Um, I said, well, can we substitute the missing items for something? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> like, how do you not know if you can actually substitute? She goes, we have to ask the chef. Okay, no worries. So I just wasted literally 20 minutes waiting for a chef to see if there's something they can substitute it for. All along, the shrimp cocktail was in the back. I'm like, are you kidding me? I just wasted all that time for you to tell me it was in the bag all along. Anyway, on my way. Last 
the order is done, it ended up being this right here. I literally traveled all the way back here. No Uber Eats order, no DoorDash order, no Grubhub order. I'm like, what the heck is going on tonight? I finally got back to my own hot spot and then I got this order right here. So I know I'm pushing my time limits by taking this order, but I think it's worth taking. So I'm gonna go pick this order up. I have to get it done quickly, so let's go get this done. Last order is dropped off. It was a leave it door, but the customer was waiting for me when I arrived. And this is what the payout is right here. So I knew tonight I was gonna have a very limited amount of time to go out and work. And sometimes when you're limited to your time, it can be frustrating. You can get orders that are just complete crap. You can get orders not coming into your phone and it's slow or you can get restaurants that you experience wait times and it prevents you from getting another order like all these things can add up to a very frustrating evening and unfortunately sometimes it happens on with drivers but you know what it is what it is and you know put it behind you and you move on to your next day but how do you make the most amount of money as a DoorDash driver when you do have a limited amount of time well there's a couple things that you can do as a driver you know I always get questions about how do I maintain a high acceptance rate and can I still um, decline orders and the answer is yes you know just like tonight I was not going to take that ridiculous order and that's what I usually save my declines on DoorDash for is when I do have a limited amount of time and orders like that if I would have taken that order I wouldn't have come close to taking or making the amount of money that I did tonight just based off of that one order take orders that are gonna make sense second use your other food delivery or even grocery delivery apps that help you achieve your goals quicker. If DoorDash isn't doing it for you, turn on Uber Eats, turn on Grubhub, turn on Instacart, whatever you're gonna do to keep your wheels moving and make you the most amount of money, go ahead and do it and take those orders that are going to help you achieve that goal. And you know what, lastly, if you do have a, a bad night, you know what, like I said before, it is what it is, move on, and tomorrow is a, a new day. And with that, you know, I always, on this channel, I always try to give you guys a little bit of motivation, how to make money on the DoorDash platform and other food delivery platforms. But I'm gonna leave you that on that positive note. Go out, make your money, even if it's an hour, even if it's two hours, go out and make the most out of it. And with that being said, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and make sure that that bell is turned on so you know when my latest videos come out. And everyone, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace out. If you liked this video and want to see others like it, go ahead and check this out right here. New to my channel? Don't forget to subscribe and everyone leave me a comment.